Welcome back, fellow darkness dwellers, to another chilling episode of Dark Recap. Today, we plunge deeper into the sinister world of Narcos as we dissect the heart-stopping eighth episode of season one. Grab your flashlight, because things are about to take a twisted turn. We open with a pulse-pounding chase through the shadows as Pablo Escobar and Gustavo run for their lives in the dead of night. Gunfire echoes ominously behind them, and the search block is hot on their trail. But as always, Escobar manages to slip away, leaving the authorities frustrated yet again. Just when they think they've caught a break, they discover his satellite phone attached to a donkey. Classic Escobar, always one step ahead. Escobar, determined to regain control, returns to his hideout where he keeps the hostages, including Miss Turbe. He demands she record another video, realizing that President Gaviria is playing a dangerous game of negotiation and pursuit. In a bold move, he agrees to release two hostages in exchange for Miss Turbay's plea for transparent negotiations. But these demands, my friends, are nothing short of outrageous. A referendum on extradition, his own prison with hired guards, and a safe distance from the Colombian police. Escobar's audacity knows no bounds. The tension rises as Gaviria rejects Escobar's demands, refusing to be seen as cooperating with a ruthless criminal. However, tragedy strikes when the search block raids the hostage location resulting in the death of Miss Turbe. Her loss resonates deeply within Colombia, fueling a desperate cry for an end to the violence. Gaviria is left with no choice but to make a difficult decision. With pressure mounting, Gaviria seeks a way to capture Escobar once and for all. While some suggest involving the US military, Gaviria knows that he needs to end the violence immediately. He instructs his head of security to give in to Escobar's demands. As the news reaches Escobar, his elation is quickly overshadowed by his insatiable thirst for more. He manipulates his intermediary, Fernando, to negotiate a reduction in his drug trafficking sentence. Escobar, always seizing any opportunity for personal gain. As Escobar's plans fall into place, paranoia spreads through the cartel. They fear that his self-built prison will expose him to potential threats, even from within their ranks. Gustavo warns of dissent, hinting at the Ochoas as possible culprits. And just when Escobar thinks he's secured his fortress of solitude, a car bomb rocks his family's Monaco residence, leaving him questioning who betrayed him. Is it the arrival of a new player, or someone closer to home? Escobar, fueled by vengeance, seeks answers and turns to Valeria, a reporter forced to distance herself from him. She reveals that the Ochoas have been spotted in Cali, striking a chord within Escobar's vengeful heart. The search block strikes back, capturing Gustavo, and subjecting him to a brutal interrogation in an abandoned warehouse. But Gustavo, loyal until the end, refuses to betray Escobar, defying Carrillo's relentless pursuit of justice. Carrillo's men beat Gustavo to death, leaving Escobar devastated and consumed by thoughts of his past. The loss of his cousin brings forth a desire for revenge, not only against Peña, Murphy, and the search block, but also against the Ochoas and Pacho for their treachery. Escobar's thirst for retribution knows no bounds. The episode concludes with a chilling montage and a glimpse into the future. Colombia votes to repeal extradition, paving the way for Escobar's escape. Plans for an elaborate prison, complete with luxuries for his family and men, take shape. The narrative comes full circle as we witness the season's opening scene, with Poison meeting a grim fate at the hands of the search block. Murphy, hardened by Escobar's ability to elude capture, embraces a new resolve, no matter the cost. As we delve deeper into the abyss of Narcos, make sure to subscribe to Dark Recap, and join us as we uncover the secrets that lurk in the shadows. Until next time, stay dark.